This is Sid, a 26-year-old man who over the past few weeks has been experiencing chronic diarrhea, abdominal pain, rapid weight loss, and frequent fevers. Because of the psychological and physical distress that these symptoms are causing him, he decides to visit his family doctor. When he explains everything he's been experiencing, his doctor decides to do a blood test and a stool study to check for infections in foreign organisms that may be present in his body. When the tests come back negative, his doctors refer him to a hospital where they perform a CT scan on his abdomen to view his entire bowel, as well as a colonoscopy, where they view specifically his colon and take a biopsy to test for possible explanations. After ruling out all other conditions, his doctor diagnoses him with Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is a type of inflammatory bowel disease where the gastrointestinal tract, specifically the small and large intestines, become inflamed and irritated. It disrupts your body's ability to digest food, absorb nutrients, and eliminate waste in a healthy manner. The small intestine's main role in the digestive system is nutrient absorption. This is where it takes the food that has been broken down in the upper GI tract and absorbs the usable nutrients into the bloodstream to enable the necessary functions of the body. The surface area of the small intestine allows for great efficiency in the absorption of these nutrients, yet with Crohn's disease, inflammation reduces the surface area where this takes place, leading to malabsorption. Other symptoms, such as pain, fatigue, and loss of appetite caused by Crohn's disease, worsen these effects as there is a more restricted diet and less food being ingested. This also means that many nutrients that pass through the GI tract will end up being defecated rather than absorbed. Diarrhea and loss of appetite can also lead to deficiencies in iron and vitamin B12 due to less time in the GI tract, reducing the water and nutrients absorbed. This creates somewhat of a negative feedback loop. It often affects individuals as they pursue employment, family planning, and personal milestones. It is also common for there to be a degree of psychological distress, especially related to surgery. Level of energy, body image issues, symptoms, fear of sexual inadequacy, social isolation, fear of dependency, concern about not reaching one's full potential, and fear of stigmatization. Still, this diagnosis doesn't bar someone from living a normal life. Currently, there is no known cause of Crohn's disease. However, there are various factors that increase the risk of occurrence. Genetics is one of them, with over 200 genetic mutations linked. As a result, inflammatory bowel disease often runs in families. Another risk factor is changes in the gut microbiome, a community of microorganisms including bacteria, fungi, and viruses. Changes here can trigger an immune response that causes abnormal inflammation, as the white blood cells swell the area attempting to return the microbiome to its original state. Other risk factors include smoking, autoimmune disease, pro-inflammatory foods, air pollution, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, migration to higher prevalence areas, hormonal medication, and stress and depression. Currently, there is no cure for this illness, but there are ways to manage the symptoms. Firstly, medications like anti-inflammatory drugs and immunosuppressors can bring down the inflammation in the bowels by inhibiting or reducing the activity in the immune system. Other meds like pain relievers and antidiarrheals can ease the painful symptoms, and supplements can help regain nutrients that may have been lost. Nutritional therapies like special diets, feeding tubes, and nutrient injections can also be used to allow for the bowels to rest and heal from their constant inflammation. If all other treatments fail, surgery to remove a damaged part of one's intestines can be a good option for emergency relief of extreme symptoms. There are also home remedies that can make this illness more manageable, and these can also be used by those who don't have Crohn's disease to prevent this illness from occurring. Diet changes such as limiting dairy, eating smaller but more frequent meals, and drinking loads of water allow the bowels to rest as they're easy to digest. As well, leading a healthier lifestyle by not smoking, doing physical exercise, and doing breathing exercises are great ways to stay healthy. Overall, keeping one's digestive system and overall well-being in a healthy place can greatly reduce one's risk of getting Crohn's disease.